Hey, this is Root Draws, and we're going to do a little short video about color saturation in figures. Um, basically, when you're drawing uh, using a pencil or um, some charcoal and you're smudging stuff around, it looks kind of like uh, grays are going to be acceptable. And then you sort of start to maybe sometimes you work in like a you know, like a sepia tone chalk or something like that. And it's like, ooh, warmth. And that that feeling of warmth, that has to do with the fact that you're working almost exclusively in grays. And grays are actually like pretty cold um, comparatively. Uh, so when you think about like a pencil or like even a Sharpie to like do, or a pen to do like the outlining of things, um, the uh, this is not a good way to outline things. You know, this is not a good way to draw the edges of a figure with one of these things. It's much better, I think, to draw with a saturated um, color, like a red tone or a brown tone. And that's what Vargas ends up doing. And that's pretty impressive to me. Um, shading also. Imagine if your charcoal was actually like, um, you know, tan or reddish or brownish you know, these um, varieties of skin tones that we can use. Um, you could still determine values, but the values would be something more along the lines of like, um, I guess a mixture of white and whatever pigment you're using, like a very light um, tone to like a mid-tone of probably like total saturation and a dark tone of like uh, maybe a little bit like uh, you know mixing black into whatever color you're um, you're working with and this is all demonstrated in this um, uh, lovely color wheel we've got coming up right here and uh, you know what I've learned from doing some Vargas studies